That's just the THX logo. <laughs> okay, now we're on. Yeah, now we're on. Wait. Oh, wait, no. The, uh, no, we're not on. No, no, we uh, we were. I just I didn't have the audio channel on for you, so no one could hear you there. Oh, we're off. No, we're on. No, we're on. But no, I was not. not. On. The on. the audio of that was was oh, not. That's gross. I haven't done this in a while. I don't remember what I. Uh... No, that's fine, Timmy. Hey, what up, chat? Hi, everybody. Hello, Horta. Guys. Uh, I think I think our, our tipping is fixed, so I think we can check the donos now. Oh, there was oh, yeah. an issue with the donos. Yeah. Uh, but now, uh, you know, now now it's good. Um, <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, hey how's where it? are you? I'm in my house. Oh. Yeah, it looks but like uh, you're at the, an office or something. Yeah, this is my office in my house that is, uh, I haven't really, it's really mostly just shit pile everywhere, and then you can see the 70s carpet in the corner there. Um, I haven't done anything in here yet, um, but uh, I'm getting carpet put in a couple weeks, so I guess I gotta fix it up. I, uh, What's the floor look like right now? Here, here, I just, uh, I moved a little bit, maybe you could see, here, right, see that corner over there? Look at that. Is that can rug? You see that? No, that's a carpet, like... So when we moved in, when I moved in, there was a lot of 70s carpet everywhere. This place still has it, you know. Uh, this room still has it. We uh, were placed in the bedrooms, and I'm going to replace it in the other room soon. But uh, it's glorious. It's just, it's funny. If it was in good condition, I'd keep it because it's so wonderfully ugly. But uh, it's pretty, you know, fucked up. So. so. Ooh, Colby yeah. like the cheese just dropped. A bunch of memes off in that chat. Dropping Just the memes off. To drop the pool. some memes on in the pool. Yes, yeah. I don't. Uh, know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Timmy, you got something in the mail today, huh? I did, and I I, only, I can only hang for a few minutes because my my daughter kind of had this whole plan to. Could I go see Avatar? And that didn't happen until we can make it happen until now. So, anyways, I got some uh, something in the mail uh, that says uh, it's. Whoa, Jesus! Wow, that was bad. Okay. Anyways, I. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Great. All right. Show uh, anyways, us the full front of the envelope. Fucking shit! That's so <laughs> stupid. Anyways, uh, it's addressed to Sam. Right now, so a stalker is buying a plane ticket to oh, Watertown, I'm, South Dakota. <laughs> You know what? No it seems there. funny. Like, who the fuck would want to stalk me? But it's like, it's I had fucking creeps. There's been creeps, you know. I've had to. Anyways, Where's Sam. Where's the nearest here... airport? Where would a stalker have to buy a plane ticket to? <laughs> well, uh, Sioux we Falls. Have an airport. No. Well, no. yeah, but we have an airport. There's a Watertown. There's a Watertown airport. Yeah, man. If they get like two flights a day. Does JetBlue go there? Fly to Chicago. JetBlue does not. Fly to Chicago first. And then what, you walk. What? What no, airlines? No, no, you, fly to, you can fly to Denver or Chicago first, then you come here. So, um, what airlines what fly out of Watertown? It's called Denver Air Connection, so they really just go to Denver and Watertown. Not an somewhere. airline. Not that, an that's airline. A, I mean, you call, that's an air shuttle. An air shuttle. Yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't call it an airline, I guess. But uh, I, you know, it's I took it to go the airline. <laughs> kind of. It's more like Feng Hua, the airline, but uh, it's pretty cheap. But uh, we um. Like when I came out for Trevor's funeral, I flew from here to there, and it was actually cheap and pretty quick, and it was good. Anyways, uh, my concern with opening this mail on the stream is that it's addressed to you, Sam, and so technically I'm committing a federal offense on stream, and is that TOS? Oh, you're you're on to me though, yeah. That would be I, I, so you're just trying it's to a get sting. Me in trouble. Yeah, I I, I have <laughs> the mail feds watching. Yeah, swatting me. All right, so this is a present from my good friend Sam Brown. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. 
<laughs> okay, he gave me right. two. He gave me two. Uh, these are from Meth Syndicate, right? I think, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, quarter pound plus all beef hot dog or Polish and 20 ounce soda with refill buck 50. I love that. That's a great bumper. Which is, which is the, the price of a hot deal. dog. That is a crazy deal. You're right. Hey, you need, you need to go to Costco, man. Oh, Costco. Is that what Costco does? That's the Costco hot dog. Yeah, that's what the that's this, what the reference is. This is very timely, and this is why it's good to open it up tonight because of this one. Keep punking. <laughs> I'm behind the wheel trying to suck my own dick, and I'm definitely gonna crash. <laughs> First of all, thank you, buddy. I love these. Uh, secondly, uh, so you know, I drive a tan minivan, and. Uh, my daughter, you know, she's going to be 12 this summer, and so uh, know, a month or two ago, we're sitting in the car, or driving somewhere in the car, and she's like, I wonder, she says, I wonder what car I'm going to get to drive when I learn oh, how to drive. I thought you were going to go somewhere <laughs> No. What did you think it was going to go? Then? Yeah, what did yeah. you... He looks for a bumper sticker, and he's like, funny thing, my oh. daughter, the other day, you know, we were no. driving in a car, <laughs> and then he said to me, hey, Dad. Blowing people. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh you guys want me to do that or no do you want i can go if you need me to go no no, no okay. you're good all right um i'm just being shitty uh that's all good uh it is so uh we're in the car and she goes uh, i wonder what car i'm gonna get to learn to drive in and i was like you're in it <laughs> like definitely keeping this shitty old minivan for three years so you can crash that instead of something else. But now it's like, okay, should I have this on the bumper sticker? <laughs> like, you know, when she's in there, like, you know, put it on there. Definitely the hot dog would be fine, but it would be really funny to have this on there. But. That would be. Sam, do you see all the comments about the volume stuff or no? Oh. You see the, the I, I have no control over your individual volume. I only have control oh. over you, Darren, and Timmy as a whole. Oh, so they need to turn because they say Darren and Zach are quiet. Well, how about this? Turn all of us up and Timmy turn down. Well, I'm about yeah. to leave anyway, so it's fine. Sure. I can turn. You're turning me down, or I should turn me down. No, you turn you down. Okay. Okay. Timmy, turn down. Turn down for what? Timmy, what are the odds you're going to put that on your uh, on your bumper? <laughs> the suck the dick one? I don't know. Yeah. I, I would mean, say not great. The hot dog one is going to go on there for sure. The thing <laughs> is, is you know the kind of place right. I live in, and, you know, I have another life here, and to have sucked my dick on there is like, uh, I can just see it causing issues, like, with people, you know, bosses and such, and me having to talk, uh, explain it. It's like, uh, I'd rather not. But, but what a fun conversation that would be where your boss is like, Timmy, have a seat. We need to talk about your bumper sticker. And I'll be like, listen. A couple years ago, when we started this, I couldn't make the first show, and they decided to make our whole goal. <laughs> and he's like, Timmy, explain. Timmy, yeah. shut, shut the door, please. Shut the door. And you shut the door, and he's yeah. like, are you serious? How'd you do it? Yeah. How, like, Can you do it? Yeah. Was there yoga yeah. classes involved? I've been I heard trying. Marilyn Manson had a rib removed, and I've been looking into it. That's very expensive and also dangerous. <laughs> you don't look like you've had a rib removed. Like, what is the deal? You also don't Your look like you can famous. bend at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so those stickers were from the the story behind it is uh, I I saw those stickers and well what's actually funny is I saw those stickers and the the sucking dick sticker and I was like oh, I got I got to get this for Timmy right and then I was sending my brother a text and like I realized like a month ago he sent me a pic that a link to that sticker and was like you got to get this for Timmy for Christmas <laughs> uh, but. So I was buying the sucking dick one, and it turned out they also had a hot dog sticker. So it's it's it was all too perfect. Uh, it's called uh, Meth Meth Syndicate. Right? Yeah, uh, I've actually I don't know they just have my 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 brand because somebody my brother one time gave me a sent me a blanket from them. It was a big one of those fuzzy blankets, and it has Nick Cage from Face Off, like with his golden guns, yeah. like making a crazy face. But it has his name spelled wrong. It has a K in it, so that's funny. Just it just and it has it all in flames and stuff, like Nick Cage, but it just has a K in his name. Um, but yeah, they're uh, it's a good company. He makes a lot of funny shit. He's an LA guy, 
Anyways. Yeah, and I, th- I think he's a, a, a Massachusetts transplant, too. Or my brother, it's like one of those things my brother knows the story behind. Hey, can, you, can I show you? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. How are, Zach and Darren, how are you guys doing? I'm good. I'm trying to get my, oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Is that are, better? Are people still talking right. about yeah. the volume? You're a little quiet for me, Z. So. How about no, 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 no. How's that? Better? About the same. Better? Check, 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 check. That's better. Well, That's this better. is what it is. It's not yeah, going to get better than this. It's good. It's good. Cool. Um, good stuff. Well, uh, I feel like I, we shouldn't talk about us while we have Timmy. We should We should just we should uh, oh. squeeze every precious drop of nectar out of this little guy's head that we Oh, my God. Can. Okay. okay. Yeah. he goes to see what Avatar. Do you want- Oh, Avatar. and Zach, did you enjoy Avatar, the new one? Meh. What am I walking into? Okay, because I know you That's were crazy. You were uh, into. You liked the first one a lot. I really did like the first one, a lot. I was there's a, a there's an uncut part from that uh, article that Zach and I had come out where I kind of accidentally slandered Avatar, and Zach was like, "I disagree with everything you said," and we talked about it a little bit. And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it." You know, here, here, here's what did you say? Way, what did you say about? Avatar? I just said the only reason for Avatar to exist was because it was in 3D, and you were like, "No, no, no, no." no. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know here, here's a way to describe uh, uh, these new Avatar, this new Avatar movie, this one movie is. Can we call uh, it Avatar? I'm calling it Avatar. Avatar. Um, the imagine the first Avatar movie is the original Star Wars trilogy. Okay. This movie is all other Star Wars movies that came back to it wrapped into one. It's it's the <laughs> the prequels and the sequels like just in one movie. I don't think and it's that bad. What about the Han Solo <laughs> one? True. True. Uh, where, the Han Solo one where they explain his last name. They explain why Chewie wore the thing. They explain why they call the Millennium Falcon a her. Well, that movie's crazy. Anyways, uh, okay. I well, that I'm, movie. I was into it. I actually do like that movie. I just think the prequelization stuff they do in that is, like, nuts. Like, like you know, I feel like everybody knows you call ships her. Why do we have to have the Millennium Falcon have this whole story behind it? It's crazy. What was the story? Like it used well, to have so a there's a lady robot. Off. Lando's lady robot gives her life at some point, like or not, like whatever. She sacrificed herself to save them, and they save her, like you know, AI or her hard drive or whatever, and put it in the ship, and mm. uh, and so that's why they call it hers because she was referred to the robot was referred to as her before uh, she was put into the ship, and so uh, that's supposedly why they call the Millennium Falcon her. Also, also, it's like she's also, stuck in there and kind of a slave now. It's while so, we're talking about it, it's important uh-huh. to note that Crinkle Cream said, "Grow a long beard, Timmy." I oh. can't. I can grow a long goatee, but I like can't grow these whiskers. What I would hardly happen help. if you stopped shaving for six months? Um, I get a good. I get a. I can grow a good mustache. I'd have a good mustache, and I have this. Like all this, I can do right in here. Wouldn't that be great, Chad? If Timmy just had like a goatee that went down to his belly button, oh, wouldn't we God. love that? Chad? You know what I would love? Uh, beads. Beads in the in, oh, the, in yeah. the goatee, right? Hanging down with like beads. I mean, you know, I I I do. I'm gonna strange. trim my hair, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna trim my hair a little bit, but I'm gonna keep long hair. <laughs> Uh, I, I just, I don't know, man. I had a friend who grew his beard out way, 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 way long because of like Scott Ian and Les Claypool and all those guys. And I was just like, I don't know. The, the really, did he say that? Was he like, yeah, it's because of Scott yeah. Ian? <laughs> I think he did. I can't you know remember anthrax? if he did. That. You know anthrax? I, think he, I don't know if he said that, but he did. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I knew him and like he did. But here's the thing it's, I, I'm not like, Oh, I'm not a beard guy. You know those beard guys that like t- they like take good care of their beards and they buy like oils and stuff. I'm not gonna do that. You know what you I mean? You don't have to put oil yeah, in. You don't just have it. Oh. I know, but like if it's that long, you'd have to take care of it I or mean, else it smells bad. Should, 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 tail. Guys, yeah. we just got raided oh. by from Weird Paul with 59 viewers. Thank you so much, Thank Weird, you, Weird Paul. Paul. That's so Weird nice up. of you. Sorry, I raided you wrong last. Time What'd you do? What'd I, you I do? wrote his his uh, username as Weird Paul, all one word, and it's Weird oh. underscore Paul. Did you um, read the wrong person? So I rated the wrong person. 
And I don't even that, think they were that's wrong. not a Paul that is uh, that Paul that you rated. Yeah, he, yeah he's too weird. He's problematic. That was that Paul <laughs> too weird? Yeah. So yeah. this little like uh, this little, you know, animation I see in the chat. I don't know what the fuck this shit is called. The guy with the bangs, the bowl cut. Is that weird yeah, Paul? That's weird Paul. That's yeah. what he looks like. Oh, yeah, look at that. Weird. weird Paul is from uh, 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 Pennsylvania, right? Oh, Pennsylvania's old, own weird Paul. And uh, what do they call the weird Paul people? They call them weirdos. I hope it's more creative than that. Paulies, Paulies, Pauldos, weird Pauls. Weird. Right. So I've I've All never right. met Weird Paul, but uh, he sings songs on his channel. Seems like a really cool guy. He everything looks like it's on VHS. So if if you if you're oh, not, oh that's fun. If you're not, I, why can't we fucking do that? Why can't we put a filter on so everything looks like VHS? That's that's good. Yeah, make everything look like our original set of uploads on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, Sam, do that. Sam, okay, take care of that. Right. Where it looks like it's shot with a shoebox camera. He doesn't use a... Yeah. yeah, you use like an actual VHS camera, don't you? Or Whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh he says I use an actual says. 90s camcorder to that scratch. That would be That's fucking awesome. awesome. That he is doesn't fun. use a filter. Oh. Wow, right. so he's just Sam, straight up doing it. So How do you much go ahead that? and get one of those... Sam, get a camera like that for us, please. How do you do that? So uh, does he just, I guess you could just hook uh, it straight you into your that? equipment. I think, yeah, I yeah. You, you do a, um, they have like, like, you, I think you could do it with, um, what you would call it? With like a, a what's that the input thing called? Do you guys have it where you can input your, your video games into the capture card? You can do oh, yeah, capture, capture card. card. Okay, I suppose yeah, you yeah. can. Well, Let's get out of here and put Paul on like and Paul monitor. can, ex yeah. yeah, I feel like the inputs on the camera, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah sub Paul. If, if you don't, it's, it's he's he's a good streamer. Uh, uh, yeah, cool. I think cool. we've. I might have. I rated him. Rating, so it, like if you the... subbed the other weird Paul last week, you got to unsub that guy because <laughs> yeah, because you want to get on a list. You, yeah, yeah, you don't. Uh, you don't want to be associated. Charges are probably coming. You know, he's so. he's supposed to like talk to you about the stuff he's done in the past when you do sub it's like everyone he's like yeah. i have to let legally let you know thanks for subbing everybody uh i guess i i gotta do what they call a digital door knock and tell everybody <laughs> that if you're subbing <laughs> i like that term digital door knock <laughs> yeah did you just come up with that That's i did uh, <laughs> well you know I, I I've had to look convicted. in. I've had to look into what you have to do if yeah. that happens. Technically, it is a conviction, but you know, I pled because I just saw that you know they were so stacked against me that there was just, there was no way the truth. Did you guys see the Andrew Callahan "This Place Rules" the HBO special about? January oh 6th? yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Dude, oh my was, god, I, I know. It's wild. Yeah, it's insane. But there's this uh, there's one Q like gun freak who's like talking about how. Everybody is a pedophile. Hillary Clinton's he's, a pedophile. You know, Jonah Jonah Hill's a pedophile. You know, he's Biden, in the obviously. Jonah Hill who produced the movie, the documentary. Oh, is itself. that right? Okay, that's yeah. funny. That makes it even uh, better. Was that the whole reason he said Jonah Hill's a pedophile? Just because he made the doc? That's no, no. He asked him like, no, no, "Hey, no, how no, about no. this Andrew guy?" Andrew is showing him photos Andrew, of yeah. all these people, and the guy is confirming that yes, all of these people are in fact pedophiles. And then Andrew pulls out the dude's rap sheet, and he's like, "It says here you were convicted in 1993 of sodomy against an eight-year-old boy." Oh my like, god! So you are a pedophile, and he's like, "No, no, he's like, that, that's a conviction because <laughs> I pled guilty, not because." Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Great. Somebody, somebody asked on here if you guys could uncancel any celebrity, who would you choose? Mm. Bill Cosby in a heartbeat. Bill I was Cosby gonna say that too. That was my I'm joking. Uh, oh, I was gonna say that. No, I'm honestly, joking. man, because wait, like wait, if wait, I could wait, erase wait, all that why? shit, not why no, 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 no. All right, Timmy, you didn't. Uncanceling you didn't set the rules. Has, his, set yeah, the yeah, rules. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uncanceling as is his crimes too. Yeah, but why is if I don't set the rules, rule is let's make Timmy look bad. But uh, no, no, you didn't know what you were no, going to do. No. You didn't know what I was going to say. But here, here's the thing. Is the reason – to me, uncancelling also includes the crime. You know, but I, it's all gone. Well, you know what yeah, I mean? okay. That's what I meant. So if I think can, to most people, uncancelling means – Just means forgiving. Back to forgiving. Yeah, forgiving? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, for, I don't know. I mean, if you fuck up, you fuck up. Go away, you know. But, I mean, to me, it's just like, uh, you know – because I've told the story on here before, but like when I when when all that Bill Cosby news came out, I like went into my car, grabbed all the my, my Bill Cosby CDs, and like broke them, threw them away. And man, you know, I just fucking loved his stand-up, and it's too bad he's such a piece of shit. So that's kind of what I meant, is if it, if that was all erased and reversed, yes. 
Okay. <laughs> I think we gotta go. I yeah. gotta go. Timmy's daughter was just like, Dad, popcorn. are you, you, get are you Dad and Cosby again? Yeah, Dad, you gotta get out of there. I heard what you're doing, and it's time to cut it. She comes in <laughs> with, like, armloads of Bill Cosby CDs, like, it, it, it's trip three to the car, Dad. She's wearing, she's wearing a Bill Cosby shirt. <laughs> Bill Cosby CDs you keep in your car in 2019? What's that about? <laughs> yeah, I know it's 2019. They're still funny. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Them. I like physical I media. <laughs> Goo bear, uh, Goo bear, Miltato, whatever that is, uh, says, "Dad, stop digging your hole." <laughs> <laughs> it's like Timmy. Is it true you went to your car and you broke CDs? Yeah, of Bill Cosby. So you yeah, had yeah, yeah. Bill Cosby CDs in your car in 2019. Or you whenever that was, it was it was years before that. It was 2017, 2016. Yeah, I don't know, whenever it was. But um, but then, but then you started driving, yeah, dude, I and, loved and you turned on your Spotify and pulled up a Bill Cosby album. <laughs> right? No, no. So I I never really did much of that phone stuff in my car. I I just listened to CDs all the time. I used to have a box of CDs in there. But um, and Bill Cosby, I, was, uh, I used to say when people would interview us when we were you know first doing the TV show, they're like, "What are your comedic influences?" And I would I would always say the Muppets and Bill Cosby. You know, so because yeah. I just loved him. His stand up was fucking incredible, and it's just too bad that he sucks yeah you know? so guys timmy says the darndest things <laughs> <laughs> so that's my terrible cosby impression so well i guess i'm gonna go see avatar for this three hours so yeah good luck i would like to the last time i saw a movie at the theater was three hours is black panther's like what what are they doing here you know it's like uh make a tv show or a movie please decide it's so good they they want to just keep showing you more stuff and it's i feel so like good. i feel like i once heard an explanation that people like joe moviegore was like it's like we want to give them their money's worth it's like well then make 90 minutes good <laughs> you know it's like <gasps> anyways I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a good time because uh, I'm gonna eat a little pizza. So you sound like you're con- trying to convince us. Well, I don't want you guys to worry about me having a bad time. I know that you do. I am comforted that you're gonna eat pizza. <laughs> good. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I uh, someday I want to show you guys all the movie shelf uh, labels uh, my daughter and I made. I showed Sam some last night, but the best one oh, we yeah. made was just called Scum, and it's like. Uh, uh, it's a category, right? Yeah, it's a category, scum. And that's and where it's, it's... all your Bill Cosby DVDs go. <laughs> yeah, all yeah, all the, the TV shows. Uh, let's see, Cheap Thrills is in there, Nightcrawler, Repo Man, you know, stuff like that. So, and uh, but but there's one if Barbarian, if I can, if physical ever happens for that, Zach, I forget if it I is. I don't know not, if but... it's going to. I don't okay. think it will. Well, if it does, I've got, we got one that's bad places, and that's where, like, you know, oh, all the movies oh. where somebody shouldn't go to a place, and then they do, and then, you know, so. Um, uh, bad Futures is also a good one. Anyway, so I love you guys, and I'm going to go, and uh, I'm going to watch Avatar. All right. all right. Have a good time, dude. Bye, Bye guys. Jimmy. Love you. May the Avatar be with Bye. you. My God. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's happening? My God! Happening? My God! <laughs> My God! <laughs> no, no. Uh, what's mm. up? How we doing? Doing good. Now doing we can get good. into the real shit. You know, in LA, uh, Darren, you never. Uh, lived here full time, so you don't know this, but this time of year is uh, really magical, and of course, I'm talking about the Globes. Green. It's the Globes this weekend. Oh, what does that even mean? The Golden Globes? The Golden Globes are this weekend. LA comes alive. Do you watch the Golden Globes? No, I've never watched them in my entire life. I don't think I. Oh well, I I have watched all the Ricky Gervais like the, cut. Yeah, the cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich Ricky <laughs> being mean it. to people is is fun. Yeah, um, but that's that's all. I think that's all that I've seen of the Globes yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys uh, watch the Oscars? No. I think I was streaming when the last Oscars were happening, or. Yeah, I think I was streaming. I think I was doing Trailer Boys or something like that. And I remember Emily ran in and was like, "Chris Rock just slapped Will Smith, or Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock." And it right. was like, it took so long to digest. It took so long to be like, "That that's a bit. 
you're, you're doing yeah, yeah, it, that's right? right. Like <laughs> I was in bed with Sarah and she was on Twitter. We were watching something else. She's like, I think Will Smith just hit Chris Rock at the Oscars. I was like, no, he did. You know, just like being yeah. a guy. It's like, yeah. you're wrong. No. And she's like, I think it's so. And I was Stop like, talking. All right. That's ridiculous. Sarah, pull it up. you read that the see. internet? Yeah, it's a bit. And then we watched it. It's so not a bit. It was great. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So many more people will tune into the Oscars this year. Yeah. I mean, who, who will do something insane this year? It's like, I kind of feel like you got to stay on that wavelength. I think we should find who's our most volatile celebrity and we should get them to do, you know, aggravating illicit drugs. And like, if you if you could pick one celebrity, be like, all right, you, you get to make him smoke PCP and <laughs> sit him in a chair and then like hope hope something goes. Who do you pick? Wait, and they wait, don't have this to be, is the like, person who's sitting like, in the chair? Or hosting. You know, you sit them in a chair, like like in the audience, you know, and you like you hope they make a spectacle. Oh, you I would pick a, a wild a card to actually host. PCP. Say again? I would pick a wild card to actually host. Mm. Not just sit them in the front seat and hope something happens. Yeah. Do you think Kanye is a good answer? Kanye is a good answer. Um, a really good. I mean, like, are we hoping that they do something because they're on yes. PCP? You're hoping or... that the PCP makes them disrupt the ceremony. Uh and Oprah. I would posit that it doesn't Oprah. even matter because nobody would storm the stage and assault the host the way Will Smith did, <laughs> ostensibly sober. I mean, what a fucking animal. It's I, out of control. I think I'd do Oprah because I think she would, if, like, you take everything, all, like, the, the, the you know, the, the inhibitions off, she's so powerful that she's going to be like, fuck it. Like... I think she's so in control that even with the head even PCP, with the she's going to behave herself. <laughs> yeah, she's fucking. She's so laser focused, dude. True. Uh, someone said Gary Jason Jason would do it. Oh, Jason. I mean, these are not people that would ever be at the Oscars. Let's try yeah. and keep it in the realm of pop. Like that's why I don't even think uh, Kanye is a great answer. He's not going to be there. Like who would who would be there? Uh, I mean, like, isn't there always like, like, the star of the Fablemans, the kid from the Fablemans? I that kid seen was it great, yet. by the way. I haven't That's seen a good movie it yet. And that kid was amazing. But like, it would be crazy if there was like a fucking thirteen-year-old high on PCP. That would be awesome. You know and what everyone amazing? knew. Everyone in the world knew. They're like, "So you're high on PCP tonight? How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> Not well." <laughs> And they're like, they're like, oh, know about it. we're here with whatever that kid from the thing is. Now you are a half hour away from smoking the PCP, right? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Half and you've never done PCP before. No, no, this will be my first time. Are you nervous about the PCP? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't want to do it. Right, right. He doesn't want to. All right. Well, have fun in there. Okay. Oh, look over here. And they're like, they keep checking in on He is seven minutes away from doing the PCP. What was it? The, um... The South Park guys, Matt and Trey, that was the best. They took acid and went in like dresses, and Matt was in the dress that J Lo wore the year before, or something like right. that. Right, right. I didn't know that. Yeah, they were, but Ooh. they were high on acid in dresses. Yeah, you know, yeah. Simon says Tom Cruise on PCP would be interesting. That would be pretty great. Yeah, that, yeah. that is true. Because that he could be a wild card. He would. He might pop out of his seat. No matter what he does, it's phenomenal. Like if he if he smokes PCP and he takes it like a champ and he just totally behaves himself, it's like God damn, he's insane. That was so fucking insane. But if he whacks out, it's like that was great. Look at him, yeah. out of his mind. But also, into this idea. Someone like 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 Tilda Swinton or like Mark R Rylance, like someone who's like uh -huh. has some esteem behind them would be really, would, uh, yeah. be really great. Hmm. Uh, who'd be objectively the most physically dangerous? Good call. Who's, I don't know. Like, I mean, no big action people go to the Oscars. Yeah. You know? You're not going to get Dave Bautista there. Jet Li's not going to the Oscars. You know what I mean? Michael G. Jordan, he's pretty ripped. Does he go? Oh yeah, he does going? yeah, maybe. Maybe that other guy, uh uh um, like an action star guy now? The the 
I mean, he does like the Rocky movies. He's like crazy. I, I was thinking of him because I saw Megan last night, that movie, Megan. And like in the Nicole Kidman, like, we come to the movies for blah, blah, blah. There's that clip of him like hitting his peck in, in Rocky, you know? He's like, sure. He's like, and it's just like, he's so unbelievably jacked in that movie. In, that in Creed? Movie. Yeah. Yeah, Creed. Uh, but, right, right. Um, in Creed 3, uh, the other guy in Creed 3 is like even more jacked. Like, uh, what's that guy's name, Chad? Uh, it's the guy from uh, uh, Love Lovecraft Country. Oh, I don't know that guy. I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. But he's like, like it's like, I think he he took like steroids or something. Like like some something because like it is a feat that he is as jacked as he as he was as he is mm. in those trailers. Fly Avatar. Jonathan says Majors. Peter Dinklage. Thank you. Peter Dinklage would be interesting. Sam. By the way, I I meant to tell you this. Dude, I saw Peter Dinklage at Maru yeah. Coffee by my house uh, two days ago. Oh, you know cool. what's crazy? What? You know what's crazy about him? He's actually what? like quite tall. He's he's like almost my height, dude. He's not. No, dude, he is, and uh, also he's... completely bald. So that was interesting. I, he must have alopecia or something like that. The Peter Dinklage, the the little person actor, right? Yeah, but in real life, like that must all just be like a camera thing because in real life, he's, he's like, like seven almost my height and he has like alopecia and he speaks, he was speaking in German like perfectly on the phone. I was just like, this I, is so crazy. I think that was a German man, a bald German man, Zach. I don't think that was. I No, I'm pretty sure it was. I know who it was. I mean, I've what seen was he doing? What was he doing? He was speaking German on the phone and he was like, <laughs> he's had a dog that was like kind of going crazy. And he's like, he's like, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. He's bald as hell. It wasn't. Like, dude, nobody realizes this guy's and tall and bald. Just every, me. Everyone knows that Peter Dinklage is afraid of dogs, so. Anyway. <laughs> I thought it was cool. <laughs> uh, Zach, can you speak German again? Yes, my German is like... That's my impression of German. <laughs> So how's that, how's everyone's uh, New Year 2023, yeah, the year of on? Michael Jordan? How's everyone's 2023 going? Oh yeah, oh, I, I like thinking of it that way. That's nice. <laughs> the, the year of the number 23. Do, do you remember that movie? Yes, the year of the Jim Carrey <laughs> movie, the number 23, as it shall be known. Oh god. Do you no, remember no, how? 300 days. Do you remember how dumb that movie was? That movie's insane. It's a very, very dumb movie. I never saw it. it he just speaks with so this dumb. bizarre accent that he made up, and it is crazy. Oh. Is he, like, from another country, or...? Nope. Nope. It's just a thing he decided to do. Uh, and in the number 23, it's he finds a book that's, like, called the number 23, uh, and, like, a big twist of it is the... Uh, author of the book's name is Kretz first name Topsy oh my god and they're like wait Topsy Kretz <laughs> <laughs> and that's like in act 3 when they yeah. come together oh my it's god cool. oh <laughs> wait a minute your initials are E Nigma yeah <laughs> whoa whoa um, they actually had uh, Ace Ventura on Netflix, and I tried to watch some of it. When's the last time you tried to watch that? Uh, Ace Ventura. Uh, over a decade. Yeah, dude, it's uh, <laughs> it doesn't it watchable. Hold up. No, of course it doesn't hold up. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I was I I was interested in watching it because I was like I can't wait to show my kids this movie because it was like so big to me when I was really young and I was like I bet they would love it and no oh did you show it to them no no I watched like a few scenes of it and I was like oh there's no way I can show this to my kids because there's like some girl with like her boobs are like busting out and she like rips his pants off and he's like flying all over the place yeah there's like a blowjob joke to yeah start it's the like movie. how she gives him a blowjob and he's yeah, yeah. and then later it's on very, it's very transphobic yeah yeah homophobic oh, yeah. yeah yeah your gun is digging into my hip i remember that 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the 90s, we were like, it's perfect. It's no like, notes. punch down. Punch yeah. fucking down. <laughs> Like I remember like when he was checking into that mental asylum or whatever, like undercover, and he was that crazy person. When I was a kid, I thought that was like the funniest fucking shit I'd ever seen. And I watched that scene. I like fast forwarded to that scene and I was like, this is not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> what? So... what the hell was wrong with me? I even think as a kid, I remember watching Ace Ventura and just being like, this is this is huge, but I don't quite understand why. But, oh, yeah, I, I, I was, I was, I jumped on board and did not get it at all. Like I'd seen it the first time I and tried like to Emperor's watch. Emperor's New Clothes, you? You're yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, it's totally. Great. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, it's, yeah, this movie's really funny, and like didn't really find it. Like quoted it and stuff, but like didn't really find it funny. Because uh, the, the first time <laughs> I tried like, to to watch. All righty then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All righty then. Uh, <laughs> All righty then. Yeah. Just to fit in. Just to fit in. Uh, the the first time I, I rented it and because all my friends saw it in the theater and I didn't see it in the, theater so it was this big thing by the time I came out on video and it used to take forever for a movie to come out on video back then and mm. uh, I went to watch it the first time. And uh, was so excited to watch it, and I got like to the blowjob scene, to that like first five minutes, and my aunt ran in the room and said, "Turn off, turn off this movie, turn on the the news. O.J. Simpson is in a car chase." Mm. And I was like, mm. "Okay, <laughs> sure." It's like one of these things where I was like, "Can we stop watching this now? I got to watch Ace Ventura." It was like, no, this is important. <laughs> yeah. I don't get. I don't yeah. know who that is. The guy from Naked Gun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that right. When like... OJ, when the whole OJ scandal happened, I, I really don't think I was quite aware of who OJ was. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I he's an old him. football player who was in a movie, but I haven't seen it or didn't watch it when he was on TV. I, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. I was like, all right, can you explain to me what the Heisman Trophy is? <laughs> like, I yeah. I don't get It's an old, rusty trophy? Okay. Dead End World says, Naked Gun does hold up. I agree. Naked Gun, one of the best jokes ever is when um, <laughs> when when O.J. Simpson is, like, in a coma because he got shot doing, like, a drug deal bust. And then Leslie Nielsen comes in and is like, <laughs> O.J. kind of, like, wakes up from the coma and he goes, Drugs. And he goes, Nurse, can't you see this man needs drugs? And he goes, no, heroin. He goes, oh, kind of a tall order. Nord Nordberg might have to give me a couple of days on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Fucking killed me as a kid. So good. Talking about the drug deal. What? Um, so yeah, did I'll you... see what I can do, Nordberg. So, have, have, so the, the Golden Globes are this weekend... Have you seen any of the like, the big like best picturey type movies? I Either saw the Fablemans. What the is Fablemans? The Fablemans. White huh. Noise. Um, How was I White Noise? To... I liked it, but everyone I watched it with like hated it. Yeah, like but a I, lot of. I was into I... it. Okay. You didn't like it. I haven't seen it. No. I haven't seen it either. But that's I've heard that people are like White Noise. I've seen people tweet that White Noise is like the worst movie they've ever seen. That's crazy. That's that's insane. Yeah. Um, I have not seen The Whale. I'm very excited to see The Whale. I thought I was going to get a screener for that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about um, that movie. Yeah. Uh, what about All Quiet on the Western Front? I have not seen that. I haven't seen that yet. That's on Netflix. That one's pretty good. Right? Yeah. It's good? It's oh, good. Uh, Banshees of Inishirin. Did you guys watch I that? Yeah, but I want to. It's good. It's really fun. I'm I'm very hot and cold with that writer. Like I really didn't yeah. get into Three Billboards. That was not for me. Um, Did oh, you, I love I like that movie. I really? went back and I watched uh, I In Bruges, which I never like really fully watched. That was a fun watch. I like I liked In Bruges. Oh, In Bruges is awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's uh, the same writer that did those two movies? Yeah, writer, director. And he also oh. did like, uh, didn't he do Seven Psychopaths, I want to say, I think? Yes, yes, that's what it's called. And didn't he do that Val Kilmer, Robert Downey Jr. movie? Or is that Shane Black wrote that? I Shane think? Black wrote Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Right. Um, right, right. Oh, did you guys see the trailer for the new Evil Dead movie? I have no. not. I'm going to watch it no. tomorrow on Trailer's the trailer, trailer Boys. Yeah. Um, How was the Megan movie? Um, it was good. It's fun. Cool. I'll leave it at that. It's a fun, um, fun January release. Are you excited for Plane coming out this Friday? Oh wait, is that the Gerard Butler movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah the tra- <laughs> they show the trailer, and, and and when it showed like the name of the movie, like Plane, everyone just yeah. like dying laughing. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Give me a break. Dude. Did you see the the trailer for the new Gerard Butler movie? Uh, uh, um, C minus, C minus the movie. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, one and a half stars. The movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I I, um, I actually am like part of me wants to go see Plane because I kind of love those like shitty January movies, and. To see one of those released in the theater again? Come on. Come on. Come uh, on. Also, it's funny that it's called Plane. It's about a plane crash. But, like, you can watch a bunch of trailers of it and not see a plane in the entire movie. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's like they live in the Philippines, right? It's all yeah, about yeah. The, the crash, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why is it called Plane? What the fuck yeah, is it I know. Called? It's it's a horrible title. It's what brought them there. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, what should we call this uh, this movie? It's about a kid who's uh, stuck home alone at Christmas time. People break into the house. Uh, van? Call it Van? Why are we calling it Van? <laughs> yeah. Well, the guys breaking in have a van. They have a van. <laughs> it brings oh. them to the home where the child is. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's fucking good. <laughs> okay, it's a movie about a serial killer and a cop, but they swap bodies. So the cop is trying to basically look for evidence in his house of how to catch himself. I need titles, guys. Uh, Ten speed. Uh, subway? Yeah. Subway. <laughs> subway. Subway. <laughs> um, uh, uh, lime scooter? Because <laughs> there's that sequence where he rents a lime scooter. Well, okay. These are good. <laughs> Isn't it just face off? I guess that is face off. I guess I just pitched face off. Wow. Okay, so Sarah and I have been watching the Mission Impossible movies. We started with oh, one. Have you guys yeah. seen Mission Impossible 2? Yeah. What the fuck is going I couldn't finish it. What the fuck it's, is going on with that movie? Yeah, I don't what know. What happened? It, it's weird. It's insane. It's, yeah, off the rails. Like. It's like John Woo directed it. It, it is so different than Mission Impossible 3. Which is yeah. like J.J. Abrams and like clearly they're like the train is back on the tracks and going the right direction. But Mr. Impossible 2 is like it's like Con Air if it made no sense. And, Mission uh, Mission Impossible oh 3 is like is like uh, like you're you're in a room and there was just someone who said something like insane walked out of the room and then someone else walks up and goes so anyway <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waits for the door to close. Uh, is three with how uh, far Philip are you into it? Hoffman? Yeah, three is Philip Seymour. I've only seen three. Uh, what'd you think of three? Going back to it, uh, I thought three was the best one so far. I, I, I just because of Philip Seymour Hoffman because he's so yeah, fucking good. He's he's really good. I, I still love one. I, I think one is a, a really solid movie. Uh, the original started it all. Um, but I also like. I think that that's such a good series of movies. Um, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. What else is new, guys? We always talk about movies. Darren, where are you? Are you? I'm in London. London. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, this is like the longest stint I've been in London for a while, and huh. I'm trying to come out to LA soon. Oh, Ooh. Yeah. cool. So we'll have to hang. When, when are you thinking? 
I'm thinking February. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, February or March. Soon. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. You might oh you you finally get I'll to meet you, you finally get to meet Wally. Yeah. It's uh yeah. Yep. it's he's almost fourteen now. Fourteen. Yeah, Dude. yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, Make me feel so guilty. No, sorry. Uh sorry, sorry. Um Darren, what's a British Christmas tradition that we don't have in the States? Um they eat something really fucking weird for Christmas. They'll eat like a goose, or uh, a, I don't know. They I think they eat lamb too. I think that's like Christmas dinner is lamb chops huh. here. Yeah. Okay, so when a lamb becomes an adult sheep, does it just stop tasting good? What is the obsession with lamb? It does, and it it's does stop tasting good. Oh yeah. But but people eat it. It's called like mutton, and oh. or haggis. Like if you're in Scotland, well, haggis is in, is intestines, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I messed that up. Yeah, it's intestines. So I went. We went to Scotland and we went to a pub, and we got the menu. And there was like eight things in the appetizer section that I had never had before in my life. And one was like a Scotch egg. One was haggis. What's and, a Scotch egg? It's a boiled egg? Yeah, like it's like, egg? yeah, it's like a pickled egg, but then it's breaded and then it's fried. And so it has like, you cut into it, it has all these layers. Is it it's, good? No, no, it's just <laughs> dumb, <laughs> dumb. Um, in my opinion, my opinion. Um, fried with sausage, that's what someone fried said. Fried with sausage? No. Yeah. But then I had haggis and that was disgusting. God. Um, but yeah, I think like for a long time, like if you didn't have food, you had sheep, you could eat that. And everyone's like, okay, that's oh. it's not good. No. I mean, England is known for terrible cuisine, right? Like, I mean, their breakfast is like blood sausage, beans, and toast. It's like, what are we doing? It's fucking yeah. awful. Yeah. Every, everything there is like, so like hearty, like. It's like, oh yeah, uh, we we don't have cereal here. It's beef stew. <laughs> That's what we do instead yeah. of rice krispies. Yeah. And it, it's funny because like all the what they call crisps or like the chip section in uh -huh. the grocery store, everything is meat flavored. Ew. So it's yeah. like chicken chips or Ew, beef, dude. Beef, beef ribs lays or. Like Doritos chicken, like it's like, or and prawn, like shrimp, <laughs> shrimp oh. chips. And you're like, what? Like guys, like what are you doing? Keep it simple. Um, <laughs> Potatoes are fine. Potato salt, you're done. Yeah, you you're, you're done. Did. That's it. Salt, pepper, bam, you got a great. Yeah. Um, and also like at parties, it's really funny because like if people like we've had parties and we put out like raw veggies. You know, like dip in hummus. Yeah. No one will eat it. Why? I don't know. <laughs> they will. They just won't eat it. They're like, well, no. <laughs> what do you go the eat? Fuck? Like they like to yeah. boil their vegetables. That's fucking. I nasty. guess I don't know. It's just like eating raw, like raw vegetables out at a party. I think is like disgusting. That's so funny because to me, carrots are great until you boil them and then they get fucking gross. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I can handle broccoli. I like it if you char it. You know, I can that I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Like hit it with lemon. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, hit that shit. <clears throat> cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. It's cool. weird because like Japan has the my favorite and least favorite cuisine. You know, like I, I'd say like my favorite meal is probably like a really great Japanese, you know, you know, traditional sushi, you mm. know, omasaki, whatever the fuck. But probably the worst meal I've ever had in my life was at a three Michelin star, like 500 year old Japanese restaurant in Kyoto, where we went for the breakfast. It was like, it was like, if you want a traditional Japanese breakfast, this is like the best place on earth to go get it. I was like, let's go. All right. And it was like a nine course meal. Have I told this story on stream no. before? I might have. Forget I it. Haven't it. I haven't heard it. It comes out yeah. in a tower, right? And, and by the way, this place is so fucking old. Like you go, it's gorgeous in there. It's like in a temple. There's like this this pond in the middle and you're like all sitting on these like you know 
sitting on the floor around this pond and it's like it is so serious in there and quiet <laughs> and it's clearly like everyone here is like a foodie that is here to eat and not talk so we're like okay cool and they bring it out in this like crazy like tiered you know this tall like really big thing yeah. and what you do is that the t- it, they're all different containers stacked on each other and so you lift the lid off the top one you eat what's in there and then you take that off and there's another one so you just keep reviewing you know and dude i'm telling you like the first thing i took the lid off and it was like like cold snot <laughs> like with like just sea flavored snot it was like gray s- mucus and i was but- like okay and you know that this is as good as it gets. Like this is a, this is like the art of snot, you know. And we're eating it; and it's just awful. Were you, you, were you like, is someone pranking me right now? Like, is yeah. it part of you? I was that like, was are they like, watching and just like, look, they're eating it. They're eating it. But yeah, like, you know, everyone else it's is my boogers. Yeah, <laughs> these yeah. guys fucking. The next thing is like, dude, it was like a fertilized egg. And it was just like, no, like this can't be a thing. And you got to eat the. You, and the only way to keep moving is to eat it. <laughs> So you can't just be like, I'm gonna like just scrape that to the side of my plate. No, then you get nothing else. So you just gotta keep going. Sarah's looking at me like, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate what you did to me. Were like, you both like, mm. did you made her eat all of it? She had to. And yeah. and, and it's it, you know respect and like and like you know reverence is huge there. Yeah. So you you gotta eat it. There's no there's no not eating. Uh, Did, I mean, you had to like act like you you loved it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. It was like in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I felt like I felt like Indiana Jones. Be like you're you're insulting them and you're embarrassing them. <laughs> Remember when, he, when they, she doesn't want to eat the maggots or whatever? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Were you guys yeah. were you guys expressing to each other oh, how yeah. much we were you looking were... at each other like I was like leaning like this. <laughs> you're like texting her yeah and, and it's also like like sick like expensive like crazy expensive you know what I mean so then we walked out I was like well I just dropped like X amount of dollars and we're going to McDonald's like we're gonna go find a fucking yeah, yeah. Mickey D's that there's a McDonald's right me. next there and they're like why yeah. are we so popular people love us yeah. <laughs> we're just like bombing no, we did the same thing. Rachel and I had an anniversary in like Tribeca and we went and dropped like $400 Michelin star Japanese restaurant. And like we finished eating and we both just looked at each other and like saw this diner on the corner and we just like walked over to the diner yeah. and like ate. Cause we were hungry. Like we yeah. spent all this money. And, yeah. yeah I, That's I'm, the thing with Japanese, like perfect meal, like Japanese would never make that list because it's not, I don't want to say it's economical. Like it's, I'm always hungry. Even if I eat a lot of sushi, I will be hungry 30 minutes later. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, what's the point? I mean, kind of drives me nuts. Yeah. Uh, Erdo, Ta- I can't pronounce your name, says, you got a Kaisekai meal, Zach? The importance of the meal is to keep the dish mostly unseasoned, check. Minimal ingredients, check. Mostly, seas- mostly seasoned with a seaweed fish flake broth, check. Yeah, that's that's right. Uh, Cult <laughs> casual racism? No, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Casual racism. Suck no, my dick, dude. I think, it, I, I think it is, like, I'm an adventurous eater, and it, sometimes you get yourself in those situations where it's like you you try something, and it's just, you no. Know, not for you or you're not yeah. expecting the taste of it yeah. you don't know like why what the the kind of oh i'm sure that what i ate was spectacular and that if my palate was like reoriented and i like if i'd grown up there and i would probably have been in heaven but you know I grew up on a Western diet. That shit is not fucking cool to me. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, it's it's. We're not saying, oh, they made horrible food. Don't even listen to this fucking loser. I think it's. I think it's just funny that that you were in that situation where you just had to be yeah, like, you, ooh, no this back. is good. This is good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have to eat all of this. And ooh, oh, a, mm. a live, a live beetle eel. Mm, I've always wanted to try a live. Beetle eel, good. And for this next course, uh, it's it's poo. And if you don't eat and enjoy it, the the person who made it is gonna have to cut off a finger. Yeah. <laughs> now that might have been 
That might have been a racist joke that Sam just told. I'm not sure. We'll have, uh, to, we'll have to look that. That one. reminds me of that <laughs> SNL sketch. Do you remember that? Yeah, where they like the, oh yeah, the game show. cuts like, off his finger. <laughs> Which is a fucking True. great sketch. Chris Farley <laughs> is so good in that. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to hear. <laughs> that sketch is phenomenal. Yeah, it's like, oh, and they pull out the sword. <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm not sure I am. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, that's he hilarious. keeps getting it. He keeps getting the questions right. Like, yeah, did... yeah. so good. That is a yeah. really well written. It is sketch. really funny. That, that, that's like. That might be actually my favorite Saturday Night Live sketch. I'm trying to think of an SNL sketch I like more than that. Oh, what's, I, what's better? Uh, I have a couple favorites. Um, Steve Martin's Christmas Wish is one of my favorites. What's that? Uh, it's just Steve Martin, and he's like, This year for Christmas, if I had one wish, right. I would ask all the children of the world to line up and hold hands and sing a song in peace and harmony. This Christmas, if I had two wishes, I would first have all the children sing a song in harmony, of course, and second, uh, have one million dollars in unmarked bills put <laughs> under the, <laughs> like, <laughs> has all these, goes down these this list of wishes and uh, it's like, if I have three wishes, I would have vengeance against all my enemies. <laughs> yeah, vengeance against my enemies. You know what? I've been thinking about it. And, you know, what if everything goes kaput tomorrow? I, you know, uh, what, what's this whole thing with the kids? We'll put that to, to number four. Well, first, the million dollars. Second, vengeance against all my enemies. Yeah, uh, I just think yeah. it's it's such a great. And then the my other favorite is uh, the one where it's like uh, West Side Story, and Norm Macdonald's in it, and uh, Robert Downey Jr. starts singing a song, and Norm Macdonald er, is the gang leader, and right after uh, Robert Downey Jr. finishes singing the song, he goes. What the hell was that? <laughs> He's like, what? I just it started. Yeah, you started singing. What was that? <laughs> That's good. Uh, Wait, what yeah. is the David S. Pumpkins? I know it's Tom Hanks is David S. Pumpkins. What, what's the bit? Is that the name, David S. Pumpkins? I think so. It's something like know. that. Yeah. Uh, it's like a haunted house or something like that, and they have this generic uh, David S. Pumpkins guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's just that. All right, well, All right. It, it, it tells it, me nothing, Sam. <laughs> I my I think one of my favorite moments was is another Chris Farley, David Spade. I think it was Adam Sandler. I'm not sure, but they were like these Gap girls, and oh. they're like eating, and then it's like, oh my god, these fries are delicious. <laughs> Chris Farley oh, yeah, like, just, and then, stuff. They're like God, geez, Jenny, you're like eating a lot of them, and he just turns into like full man, like lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, that is fucking great. What about like, you? Know what? The the coffee, Folgers crystals. That that's, yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. What? That that's that's probably my favorite. What if I told you this was instant coffee? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you lied to me. Lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fucking great. That's fucking great. Uh, what are some of the best Phil Hartman ones? Uh oh. What uh, one of my favorite like really weird sketches is um, when Tom Hanks was hosting once. He did this, this sketch that was uh, the fan club for the guy who played uh mr belvedere that was like what the fan club was called <laughs> yeah and it yeah. had like it had everyone in it. it had like like chris farley and like it was just like this like insane fan club 
for the guy that played Mr. Belvedere, and it's like them just like having a very like normal meeting, but it's like, all right, we don't want to use his name, so we have to come up with something to call him. What about Brock Toon? Yeah, Brock Toon. We'll call him Brock yeah. Toon tonight. Yeah. Uh, that was a good one. And everyone's talking about like, well, what if I wanted to kill Mr. Belvedere? And Tom Hanks <laughs> is just like, why would you want to do that? Why? <laughs> uh, but um, Phil Hartman's great in that, yeah. yeah. Somebody brought up Andy Dick in the chat. Have you guys seen there's like a weird new video of Andy Dick? It's like an hour and a half long. It's like he's living in a trailer with like a bunch of teenage boys. And it's like one of the boys like made a, like a live stream of what it's like cohabitating with Andy Dick in this trailer. And it's like fucking insane. Anyway. Weird. It's worth checking out if you're into I that. Shit. It? I'm, what's that? Have you watched it? I watched part of it. I was just like, this is this is just like madness. I, I, <laughs> I didn't make it all the way through, but it was wild. Huh. It's somewhere on YouTube. Take a look, things. everybody. It's, it is it is nuts. You know what I've been watching a lot lately? Do you guys know about this channel, this YouTube channel, Soft White Underbelly? No. Oh, dude, it's, it's amazing. So there's this guy. Say it again? Uh, Soft White Underbelly. Um... There's this guy named uh, Mark Lida, and he he like lives in Skid Row, and he's he's a photographer, and he just does these like long form. They're usually between like an hour and a half hour interviews with the people that live on Skid Row. So they'll be like you know drug addicts or pimps or prostitutes or or, or he also has like all kinds of like crazy like people who have like con artists or someone survived the um, skydiving accident. Just like interesting people. And he just sits them down and just like has them tell their story. It is captivating. And there's like there's like four thousand videos. You'll never you'll never see the end of it. And they're all like really cool and well done. Anyway, soft white underbelly. It's great. Yeah, there's this one dude, awesome. Johnny, who's like a gangster, and he has like fifteen interviews on there. <laughs> and he's like a he's like a real like cholo old school like gangster from Whittier. And he tells this one story. He's like I was hanging out at this baby shower for my aunt and I was there with my homies. I'm doing his, his accent, which I don't think he would mind. This is exactly what he sounds like. And uh, I saw these these couple of dudes from this rival gang came to the baby shower. And so I'm like, oh shit, like what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? So I see that they, they circle my one homie and they're like, let's go outside. Let's like get down, what's up? And so my homie is gonna like go into the front yard of the baby shower to like, you know, fight these dudes. I'm like, I gotta help them. So I go in the kitchen and I see they have this big wooden like knife block and i grab like the biggest handle i could i pull out this big butcher knife and i pass it to my home and he sticks it under his jacket and then i see this other big handle and i pull it out and it's what you call like a cleaver and so i tuck it under my shirt and i go out and when, as soon as i get out in the front yard i see one of these dudes slapped my aunt in the face i'm like dude like i don't know where you from but where i'm from like that's not cool so i pull out my cleaver and i go rushing up to the dude and i swing it but as i swing it my aunt goes to slap him and I cut right through my aunt's hand, like really bad. And all the baby showers going crazy. And I just start hacking this dude, right? I don't even see how much I'm hacking. I'm like hacking this fool, like pretty bad. And then this other dude comes up and I turn and I bring my cleaver down, it goes whoosh, right into his skull, right? Like deep. And when I pull it out, it makes this like whoosh, sound. And like the blood is like covering me. It's in my eyes. I like can't see anything. And then I'm like swinging. And he, he goes in the thing like in the middle of a baby shower, he hacks three men to pieces. And, and it's like, it is, it is, un, it's like hilarious and like mortifying and just like, it's like captivating. And he's like, when they're done, they pick up this dude and he looked like, you know what he looked like? When the, when the, he said this, he's like, when the Incredible Hulk shrinks back down to normal size and all his clothes are tattered. He's like, that's what this dude looked like. I'm like, oh my God. That's like a detail that like he would, wow. it was great. Anyway, highly what, recommend guys. What was that guy's name? His name's Johnny. He's awesome. Johnny. If Not just, Joseph? No, Johnny. Johnny, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the, the page right now. This looks cool. Just search Johnny in the, in the thing. It's, it's great. Everyone should go to a soft white underbelly. Check it out. And Johnny has a playlist of like 15 videos. They're pretty good. Uh, I will check this out. Yeah. 
They do some yeah. other gangsters come here. on who like know Johnny and they're like, I can't believe you had that guy on. He's like a legend. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy's not lying. Like he's insane. What about that that uh, Joker dude from the? Uh, oh my god! This place, from the, this place <laughs> rules. That guy's out of his mind, dude. That's yeah. the kind of stuff that I really love to watch. Yeah, wind pillows. That's right. So soft white underbelly is incredible. The guy is a professional photographer and he's raised funds in the past to help out his interviewees. Yeah, he's really good about like, he's just doing a lot of good work down there. It's like, it's a really eye opening look at like what that lifestyle of living on the streets and being addicted to drugs is really like and, and like that mentality. And like one of the things, one of the things Johnny said that was really interesting. He was like, you know, because Johnny's been homeless, he might still be, but he's like, you know, there's times where I had an apartment and I had a shower not too far from here. And I would say to my other homeless friends who are like living in a tent on Skid Row, I'd be like, come stay with me. Like take a shower, you know, you can sleep on my couch and like have a roof over your head. And they would be like, no, I don't want to. And he's like, why would they not want to? He'd be like, I, don't, I would never understand. Like, why wouldn't you want to come and like take a shower and sleep on my couch? And they would always say the same thing, which was, I don't want to miss anything. Like they were like, they didn't want to miss if a new batch of like drugs came in or something happened. Like they wanted to be right there at ground oh, zero oh. so they could get the drugs. Like that is intense. That's that's intense addiction, man. Yeah. Do I watch Channel Five? No. Should I? Guys, I love you, but I gotta go. And I've been subscribed since 2020, but can no longer for. Two or because two I'm because I'm broke. I love y'all so much, and thanks for all the laughs. Well, King Odd Lord, King it's Kin God Lord. It's either Kin God Lord or King King Odd Lord. Odd yeah. Lord. Uh, thank you so much for supporting. Uh, you know. Yeah. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for Sorry hanging. Sorry to. And, and, you, you can still hang out and watch. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to go. I don't know why you're uh, somebody being morose about it. Sub King Godlord. Someone help him out. Uh, King Godlord. I guess he said I got it. Right. Um, oh, Sam, you want to check the donos while we're, yeah, while yeah. we're on the subject? We'll check the donos. The donos are working again. Um, Donos aren't working, says Christmas. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I, my brother, we did a test dono earlier today. Let me. No, no. Mars update. Um, I don't know what the fucking update is. We're 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 like, it, believe me, the 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 gears are still in motion. We had emails yeah. going all week. We're 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 closing in on figuring out where the remainder will come from it's it's the same update it was last time but it but nevertheless believe me it's uh we had a we had a big work call two days ago about it like it's all it's still happening don't don't worry mars is mars is gonna be done oh that's weird uh so nate's test tip work but uh no one's donated since then or has been able to donate since nate's te no. test tip i don't know Abby Sally says, how's your next project writing going? Uh, good. I'm pretty much done. I'm going to gonna take it to market this month. So I will have a better update soon. Have you ever, done. have you guys ever thought of getting an old extra from WKUK for a short interview? Well, I the only wonder, extra I would want would be Bobby London. <laughs> I wonder I what know, a combo between is. you guys and Bobby London would be like. I got I got a score to settle with that little son of a bitch. <laughs> I love Bobby. London. Why'd you He's act like that wasn't your name? Yeah, why did you gaslight me? You're sick. Trying that really to... did blow my mind. He's like, why do you call me Bobby London? I was like, is that not, is that not what your name is? <laughs> I literally thought his name was something else. Like, Have I been calling you the wrong name for two years? He didn't uh, answer. I want that kid from Get a New Daddy. No, dude, that kid's oh. that kid's bad news, man. I I want to see. I want to see how he's doing. Where he's at. He's in jail. You didn't hear about that? <laughs> no. <laughs> he killed all those people. Don't say that. <laughs> Sam, you'd feel pretty bad if he committed a series of murders tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So think about that. You'd or feel if... pretty bad. 
Actually, I, I have, have the call sheet. We should have Marla on. Oh, we should have Marla on. All right, Sam, here's a question for you. So yeah. Wally is undoubtedly going to commit a crime in his life. We all okay. do. What's the first crime you anticipate Wally committing? I know. Um, Darren knows. I, Go ahead, Darren. Yes, Darren. He's going to okay. steal something from a store. Yeah, that's actually, that's actually a good call. Really? Did you guys steal from stores? I did, and I oh, got yeah. busted the first time, and I had to what go back stealing? and tell the manager that I stole from a store. <laughs> what did and you he, try and steal? I don't know. I don't you remember. know. I don't remember. I really don't. I went through a I know everything I've stolen. shoplifting phase when I was a kid. I used to do the whole thing where I would grab a candy bar and I would like look at the candy bar and then s slip it up my sleeve and like look like I'm putting it back <laughs> and then nervously run out of the store um get good that's good that's a good touch <laughs> oh uh, someone's calling me <laughs> I used to grab candy Can I go by? drop it in the big gulp, big gulp cup and then pour a slushy over the candy so then I buy the big gulp and then I drink the big gulp I've got candy in there that I can fucking eat. Damn. Well thought out. Oh. Yeah, dude. It's Covered sticky, him? though. You're like, your yeah, hands yeah, are really God. gross. You're like, ah! ah I sure got them. <laughs> yeah. Ants are all over me. And it's not good. Uh, I stole cigarettes. They used Because they used to do a thing where they... Sam, your, your audio is like cutting out like a ton. It's like oh, really here. bad. I think I'm hitting the cord. Sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna try I stole cigarettes. You stole cigarettes? Yeah. I stole I'd a Primus gas poster. At the gas station, they would have them, like, in the front. So you could, like, just grab a pack and throw it on the, the thing. That's by. crazy. And so I would, I would, like, pay for my gas or something like that. And I would do something to draw his attention towards, like, is that, like, a new thing over there? Like, while I'm grabbing the cigarettes and just putting it right in my pocket. Wow. Uh -huh. That's that's brazen. I don't think I would have had the uh, audacity to do that. Uh, I stole the VHS of the movie Mask, the Mask or Mask, the Jim Carrey one, not the share. We one. got it. We we got it. <laughs> Jeez. It would be so mask? weird if I stole the mask. This. No mask. It would Is be so weird if I th the if one I with Jim Carrey with the mask. If I stole the, the the Rocky Dennis one, the one with Cher and Eric Stoltz, I was yeah. like, I think I got the wrong movie, but this is fucking great. <laughs> is this funny? I don't know. Uh, I like it. Uh, he's a person too. I know his head's all big, but... Uh. Jim Carrey was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, mask is a true story. Yeah, Rocky Dennis. <laughs> Dang, that was the fucking best thing ever. Jim Carrey was good. <laughs> oh man, that got me right in the perfect spot. Uh. <laughs> I tried to donate, but donating through Streamlabs errored for me twice, and PayPal link just rerouted me back to the Twitch stream. Was going to ask a question oh, uh, for Zach. Are you a fan if, of the band Cattle Decapitation? No. All right. If it's not working, uh, um, sorry, Zach, you're not a fan of Cattle Decapitation. Are you aware of the band Cattle I, I'm, Decapitation? I, I've heard of them, but I've never listened to them. So, okay. so it's not that I don't like them. I just don't know. Uh, you can tip to uh, paypal.me slash I think it's official WKUK oh paypal.me slash whitest kids that's it paypal.me slash whitest kids uh, oh yeah maybe you have to do it on chrome interesting yeah. I'm buying a uh, synthesizer on Monday you guys oh, what are you getting for? Um, it's a Korg Mini Log XD. Oh, okay. No. Q. You, st you starting a band? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just um, want to make a bunch of noise. That's that's always I've been fun. hanging out, Sam. I've been hanging out with the OCs now. Like like I hang out with John like twice a week now. Cool. Yeah, and I went over and I, I went into their studio while they're recording the new album, 
Yeah. They have Darren. They have this uh, synth thing that is like the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, can you see this? It's called like a yeah. Baku. Ah. It's like it's like. Is that an Ar- What's it called? It's, it looks like an Arturia oh. Mini Freak. Are, I don't know what the fuck it is. Are those anyway. uh those aren't keys, right? Those are just like touch pads. No, it's like a it's like a yeah touch pads, and it's like you know it comes with all these cables, and you like little you patches. Know, them all over the place with patches. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, the goo, goo bear, miltado, uh, miltado, uh, the OCs. Is that how they're spelling it um, now? Yeah. Does anyone have any thoughts on Kevin McCarthy? Any Kevin McCarthy thoughts on the week? I don't want to talk about. It. Okay. Uh, Darren is moving us on. Uh. I think it was it was uh messed up that the first Christmas that uh his parents left him home alone and then the second one he got like lost in New York. Like that's Sam, that's Kevin McAllister. You are docked. Oh my way off. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Uh um what, what else? What, what else, else is new? Did you see the guy, uh, that guy almost die in the football game? Yeah, what was the big deal? What, what happened? It. it was crazy. It was like insane. I didn't so see it. this guy, uh, he was a defender for the Buffalo Bills. It was like, I think in the first quarter of the game, uh, he tackled a guy on the offense who had the ball and he stood up and then immediately like fell backwards like it like, wasn't like, like boom he didn't he didn't like stand up and go like ah or like just like all of a sudden like and they had to uh give him cpr on the field to like restart his heart wow and apparently he like there's a thing where you can get hit within your within your um heart rhythm like a point where if you like they have names i think it's called like an a to c something where there's like an a in your heart rhythm b c d and like if you get hit at a certain place uh, or at a certain point of your heart rhythm in the chest it can stop your heart oh and so th- it really was just from an impact it was from the impact it was just like the impact at like a specific point Wow. And, yeah, uh, it's crazy that doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I it's mean, hard. like, it's it's crazy because they're playing football today. I mean, that must be insane to, like, be like, all right, this guy uh, almost. So you're saying the heart, like, has a normal. Your heart has, has a beat. And so, like, there's one specific point during that beat. Is that what you're saying? Like, if, if you have one... like a sudden chest impact at one specific point during the beat, it can cause your, I guess, like your heart to get. I don't know why it happens, but that's uh, nuts. crazy. Mm. Uh, Jaws of Victory says negative. He was defib twice. It was an impact that put his heart out of rhythm. Uh, then he wouldn't have needed a defib a second time. If it was an impact that it put us, whatever, dude. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Sam doesn't know. He's just fucking talking. He just likes I'm to talk. I'm just repeating something good. that I saw yeah. some a, a YouTuber. We're not the fucking New York Times, you, dude. You, Come you on, sat now. there and made this whole thing you up. Just, I didn't know. You did. No, you did, I Sam. Didn't, I didn't you did. That. You how, just got fucking called out. How you just, would I and mean, that guy just, on chat... Fuck, I want to say thank you to that guy. Yeah, for, thank for you, fucking buddy. Calling you out. I'm sorry about my friend here. <laughs> yeah. And then they 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 they're not playing the game. They stop the game. Here we go again. Here we and go And they're again like, that the game lives. is done. Here All right, comes. let's go back to McCarthy. All right. No, I'm kidding. Not really. You guys, that sounds made up. You guys sound. You guys made up that name, huh? People started blaming the, the vaccine. Yeah. Oh yeah! Immediately, people were like blaming the vaccine. Man, um, before the vaccine, football players weren't dying when they got hit. 
Should we yeah. all start calling Timmy obsessively? Like now yeah. that the movie has started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Darren, take it away. <laughs> Ken Block. Died. I cannot get any more trouble with Timmy, Darren. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Ken, my, my card has been punched all the buddy. way through. I'm done. I sure Ken would Block is it. the the uh, the Monster Energy drink guy, right? Oh, he is died. That, he died. Am I correct about that? I'm not really familiar with him. Uh, wait, so what? what is this whole, like, Kevin McCarthy thing? He's uh, lied a lot. Uh, no, that's Santos, right? Oh, that's Santos. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Kevin McCarthy. Uh, or Christos? Who's, what's the fucking name of the liar? I can't remember his name. I think it's Santos. I think you're right. Uh, Kevin McCarthy has, like, repeatedly lost a vote to be appointed the Speaker Santos. of the House. Is that? Yeah, he lost 15 times. Or 15. on the 15th vote, he got it. The 15th one. That's so insane. Yeah. But it's, it's, not, like, it's not like him losing. It's just there's, there's Republicans who are just being defiant. You yeah. know? And yeah, then yeah. That's, that's the only reason why. And it's like, it's just silly. It's just wasted tons of people's times. And yeah. it should not even be in the press at all. It's like not a big story. Saturn Brennan says, Zach, are you ever going to stream games again? I don't know. I'm, if I have time, I will. I, I would love to, actually. But not, not, not this week. What games are you playing? I was playing Far Cry 6 today. I was, I'm really into this game, uh, Mutant Year Zero. But I think if I was going to stream a game, I would probably stream Elden Ring. Okay. Start over. From have you streamed that one before? Yeah, from the beginning. Have I streamed Elden Ring before? No, I don't think I have. Hmm. But I think I would do that. Zach, did you ever finish Bloodborne? I know! I never beat Bloodborne. How fucked oh. up is that? I, know, I started insane. Bloodborne. I've never beat Bloodborne. I don't think I've ever actually beat Sekiro. Uh. Maybe that's what I'll try and do. I'll try and beat that. It's crazy, because I feel like Demon Souls and Dark Souls, all three Dark Souls, I, I've, I've like annihilated Darren when was the last time you played a video game dude I actually got a, uh, a Nintendo Switch oh. and I know this is, it's probably like so lame compared to what you guys play no but, Switch is good no it's like but I, I ever whenever that came out like I always wanted to get that Breath of the Wild Zelda game and I I got it and I'm like so in love with it it's amazing yeah it's good and the new yeah. one's coming out this year like oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's bananas. I mean, I get like 30 minutes on it every now and then, but uh dude, and I'm just like I love it. It's awesome. Cool. Cool. I really I I wish I could get um a system, but I like I don't even have a TV. Like I'm like there's no there's no You don't have a TV? No. I don't you watch, watch all your TV. stuff on your computer. Yeah, or I have a projector. Oh, you have That's a projector. That. So you can see yeah, you but have I a like, projector. But I only like project something at night if I'm going to watch a movie. Like that's, yeah. that's it. And that rarely happens. How um, often do you watch a movie at home? I mean, probably once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Once a week. Yeah. It's not bad. It's yeah. not bad. Uh, that's more than I thought you were going to say. I thought you were going to say once yeah. a month. Yeah. I mean, I would say it that one movie could be a movie I don't want to watch. And so oh. I'll skip out like halfway through and go do something else. But yeah. yeah. What it, what have you seen? What what do you know that's out there that you want to see? Uh, I don't know. Like the movies that you guys just named in the Golden Globes, I, I don't even know half of what those are. But I, I want to go check them out. All right. Oh, uh, wait, did something happen to Drake Bell? I, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I saw that. In the what news. happened? Like he, yeah, he, he got in trouble. Something with drugs. He was like huffing a balloon or something like that in oh, front with of his, his kid. kid. He was. What does that mean, huffing a balloon? Is it like helium? No, he was like huffing paint with his kid. Really? Was yeah. Damn, dude. Uh, I mean, is it nitrous? Do you? Do uh, you? I mean. Uh, 
Fuck. So here My are the, gonna die, guys. Here are the best go. picture nominees really Classic. quick, Darren. Avatar, Elvis, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun. I've seen Tar and Top Gun. Um and Avatar. Uh, what is Tar? It's Kate Blanchett. Oh, Tar is amazing. You should watch Tar. Tar. Yeah, Tar's really oh, good. Oh, where she's like that composer yeah, or something. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do want to see that. I saw a trailer for that. What's the Fablemans? It's Spielberg's autobiography of his childhood. Yeah. Oh. Have you Not- seen it? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Okay. And yeah. you know what like Avatar is? Way of- I, I'm Tar, go Tar is like another level. Tar's yeah. insane. Tar's okay. Tar's like one of the only movies this year that like I really like was like I want to read articles about this after watching. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Best musical or comedy are Babylon, Banshees of Inishirin, uh Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Glass Onion, and Triangle of Sadness. Triangle of Sadness is great. Yeah. I like that a lot. What's that? Who's in that? It's the guy who made... Um, Force Majeure. Uh, Woody Harrelson is in it, but it's the guy who made Force Majeure in the square. Okay. That everything everywhere I didn't I didn't like that movie at all. Oh really? Same with me. Yeah. I was like I was very lukewarm to it. I it's, mean like it was it's two directors trying to make two different movies and it was just like it was so clear. Like it was like guys pick pick away. Like you're trying to do everything one way and they're in your way off track with the other. I oh, liked gosh. it. I just thought it was a little too long. I was like, if you cut ten minutes out of this movie, I'm I'm like all about it. But I just thought it was a little long. My that's, wife, that's like her fucking favorite movie ever. Like we were watching it, she was like yeah. crying from minute five until the end of the movie. She was just like, yeah. she loved it. Wow. You, you know what my problem was? Some people, with it some was, people really love it. Yeah. I I do feel like it had a pacing problem, and I feel I like it, it it like mm-hmm. it did so many moments where it's like we're gonna like slow it down like slow motion this moment and crescendo it and it's like like you can't have like that many of those moments because it feels like your movie's not moving Mm. Uh, and it's just like they would you know a a joke that they would pick would be the joke that they just kept carrying on you know for (laughs) the rest of the movie and it's like the when it keeps the joke keeps showing up like no one's laughing anymore it's like you already made that joke uh, did you guys see Babylon? Anyone? No. I'm going to watch saw, it tomorrow night. It's it's weird because it very much, you very much could categorize it as a 1920s uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it's starring Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. Interesting. It's like, yeah. yeah. I like Damien Chazelle, though. He's never He's never made a movie I didn't like. So far. Uh, Did you guys see the the poster for the new Ari Aster movie with Joaquin Phoenix? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Uh, um, yeah, does is he playing four roles, or uh, is it? do we see this character throughout his life, you think? I don't know. I don't know. Did you guys watch Amsterdam? No. no. Is it good? Okay. Um, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and new Zach, who has to be yeah. so fucking protective. I don't mind. I'll, I'll say it. No, it's not good. No. Wow. It didn't, and it didn't. it's made by the studio that made Barbarian. That's a that's a new Regency movie. So I'm really I'm really saying it. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. It didn't look good from the trailers, but it's uh, not good. Yeah. That's if if you're new to the the chat, that's the equivalent. If uh, Zach was like, "Yeah, I went to go see this this uh, romantic comedy, and it made me shit my pants. It was so bad." <laughs> that's that's like old Zach would have said that. Uh, yeah. No, I did not like it. No. Saturn Brendan says, "Zach, have you seen Tim Sarah? We'll put your rich white male lifestyle in perspective." Okay, cool. Do me a favor. <laughs> Fucking die. <laughs> go die. Uh, All right. I gotta go, I, guys. I've seen All right, dude. Later, buddy. Good seeing you guys. Uh, good, see you, good to see you too, buddy.
Um, oh, whoa. Oh. All right. Um, and then there were two. And then there were two. Uh, what should we do? I don't know. I, is there a game? I wish we had a game. Zach is mega rich. Nope. Zach is not mega rich. That would be fun. Zach. Um, how many cars do you have? I have one car. <laughs> it's probably like the Lizard. nicest car ever. Whack. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice. Um. Yeah, I mean, we we could pro we could play a game. We could play like a Jackbox thing. Uh, we could play marbles. Uh, Is there a word game we can play? What, what, what's a game we can play with chat? Which one of you two would win in a fight? I would guess Sam would win in a fight. I would guess Sam. What if? I feel like if you if you got me in a in a hole, it's over. I I, I feel like you. I I feel like I don't ramp up a fight in the way you would. You think I would go zero to sixty? Yeah, I think you would go all in. I think I would be a little bit like. Uh, well, well, that's I. I think I told this on Newsboys, but Trevor and I got a, we fought once at the dorm. Yeah, and it was a, it was a play fight. It was like let's go in the hall and like we'll fight. And we'd like known each other for all of like three weeks. It was like okay, cool, let's do it. I remember we like we we're drunk and we like squared up. And, and I'd gotten in a thousand fights at that point with my brothers and stuff. And I was kind of anticipating, like, what would happen? What's your face doing? No, I just thought of a game we could play. Okay. Let me finish Sorry. this real quick. Yeah, yeah. So I thought we were going to be kind of like like a couple of spars and kind of like size them up for a second. And then we'd like get into it. As soon as, some, as somebody said go, Trevor just fucking came at me a thousand percent with like haymakers. <laughs> like, like insane. It was like, it was like, go. I was like, ah. And I was like, stop, stop. It was like five seconds of me just like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? And it's like, <laughs> nah. And I realized, I was like, never fucking fight Trevor. Yeah. Which is a good call, because every other time I've seen him fucking be violent, it's like instant, like, smash, destroy. You know? Like, that dude would go zero to 100 instantly. The other thing about Trevor is that dude could throw a punch. Oh, sincerely. Like, like smash faces. <laughs> like... Hard. He, he hit just, really hard. He hit really hard. He hit much harder than his strength. You know, yeah. like there's just something like when about he punched it. Jess in the yeah. fucking party. That was like one of the most awesome things I ever saw. <laughs> it was like someone just turned a faucet on in his head. It was like boom, gush. Oh. <laughs> and then he called his mom. It was great. That was one of my favorite memories of my twenties. Trevor punching Jess in the face. <laughs> I'm not joking. That was of all the That's... wonderful things. Falling in love, getting a TV show. No, dude. <laughs> Trevor punching Jess in the face is fantastic. <laughs> and then Jess like... came back a half hour later and tried to sucker punch Trevor, and Trevor turned around and punched him again, and the fucking blood came again. It was just like, oh. <laughs> it was like it was like I couldn't write this better. <sighs> Best. Yeet Bless said this stream got so boring, man. Come on. Yes, I just told a story of violence about someone we all know and love. You get get the fuck out of here. The the story yeah. is Trevor and this guy who didn't get along but would drink around each other. Uh, I hated that guy. They said, let's play punch for punch. Jess was, was like, a, here's a the game. game. Softest hit uh, oh, oh. wins. So the goal is to like hit the softest. And so Trevor's like, okay, you go first. So Jess comes up and goes like, like that. And the Trevor goes, okay, my turn. <laughs> and she <laughs> so hard in the face. And they're like, dude. So, so then Jess goes like, oh, he's bleeding everywhere. He goes running away. And we're all just like, yeah, dude, that was great. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and then like a half hour late, like Jess went and called his mom, who's a nurse. He's like, oh, I just got punched. I think my nose is broken. And then he came back, like, we're, then we'd moved. We were on another staircase and we're like drinking and smoking. Just came up the steps behind Trevor and like punched him in the back of the head hard this time. But Trevor was so drunk, he like didn't care. He just turned around, saw him, and just went like, oh, and smashed him again. And the exact same thing happened again. And Jess went running down the stairs, like, it was great. It was the greatest thing ever. So wait, did I get any of that wrong? It, it's so no, no. I mean, I don't know, but like, it's so funny to me that like, it's basically like, 
like what was Jess doing? He was just saying, "Hey, softest punch." I think he had a. I think he had a. Either it's a game like the the penis game in school where you slowly go louder and louder and louder and louder, say penis, you know, you know what I mean? Where, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. In class. I think he thought like they would like slowly escalate or something. I don't even know what his plan was, but he was just playing with the wrong person. Like Trevor's yeah. not going to play that game. I mean, it sounds like Trevor just punched Jess in the face. Like, <laughs> like it, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and, and everyone exactly, was like, you ever talk about the fight you and Trevor agreed never to talk about? Trevor and I don't have a fight that we agreed never to talk about. Oh, yeah. We've talked about all of our fights. Uh, softest one, softest punch wins is usually instigated by the one who's going to say you win. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you were there for that, oh, though, oh, right? When, that. when he punched Jess? I feel like I wasn't like there there for that either. I, I like either that that was that party where I got like super black out and, and called everyone cunts, uh, or I wasn't there. Um, it was a rocket you, fuels. Yeah, yeah, rock, rocket fuel and Elizabeth, right? Yeah, the place over by the the subway. Yeah, and all the Beirut dudes were there. That was cool. And yeah, the grizzly bear guys, too. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that was the party where I got blackout drunk and called uh, your best friend girlfriend, girlfriend a cunt, which was you not cool. You called my best friend's girlfriend a cunt? Who'd you call a cunt? Yeah. Who? You, you remember my this? Girlfriend? Yeah. No, I, I don't. I, my went girlfriend? Up, this is from, from your telling of the story... I, I woke up the next day like what happened last night and uh, you were like yeah apparently you walked up to Ryan this girl that Ryan's dating and he has been trying to go out with her for a long time and she's very shy and they just kissed for the first time and you walked up to them and said you gotta get that cut in line <laughs> And God. then you pointed at her and repeated yourself. <laughs> and this is ringing a bell. But and it was astonishing to me because I like it's like one of those things where you're like I don't know like I've never heard that as a turn of phrase. I don't like get how that sentence makes all that much sense, but wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh my uh, god. But I, I do remember starting the night off and being like, the word cunt's really funny because anytime <laughs> you'd use it, people would be like, that word's disgusting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, shut up, you cunt. Uh, <laughs> and then I drank yeah. too much whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, oh, did you um, hear about uh, that? What's that guy's name? That the. Is that Andrew Tate? Is the the boxer? The is he a soccer player? Uh, I I thought he was a, a a a featherweight boxer or something like that. The guy who was started a fight with um uh what's Greta Thunberg? Oh, I he's don't a know pimp. That. What do you do? Oh yeah, he's a kickboxer. He's a pimp. Oh, he a uh, uh he started like sending like I'm gonna fuck this up but he started apparently like sending tweets to Greta Thunberg being like I have 30 cars like this and they're all gas guzzlers and like what do you think of that like and then uh, he he sent one out a video of him being like hey I ordered pizza I only order pizza from places that have uh, their boxes are non-recyclable as a response to some to this feud that he started and apparently, he was in trouble for uh, human sex trafficking, and uh, he was on on the lam apparently. And they looked at the box of pizza and were like, "Oh, well, we can track down where that pizza's from." Right. And they found him and that. arrested him. <laughs> what a fucking idiot! God. And then didn't now here's what I heard: didn't Al Qaeda like publicly endorse him and like? Like, Al-Qaeda was like, we're worried about him. Like, we hope he's okay. Wait, what? 
Yeah, seriously. This isn't true. I might have that wrong. Yeah, no, no, Chad, am I wrong or right about that? That's got to be. People are like, pizza thing was a hoax. The uh, Taliban did. Oh, it was the, the Taliban. My mistake. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I can't believe I. Oh, wow. What a. No, no, no. I, I'm just like. Uh, imagine if, like, the Taliban was like, best movie of the year, Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be shocking. <laughs> be like, wait, what? What am I doing? Wait, really? <laughs> uh, he tweeted he had many cars. She tiny penis shamed him. He got arrested by Romanian police because a local pizza box was in his pick. Uh, yeah. It's the Taliban. Um, Sam spreading fake news again. That's it. I'm unsubbing my gifted sub. Yeah, fair. That's fair. The pizza thing wasn't, wasn't true. Made up legend. Well, that's what the story I heard. I mean... Oh, oh, the game I thought of. Uh, so, you pick a movie on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. And uh, we, we look up its score. Okay. And then you try and pick another movie, whoever gets closest to 100 wins. Oh. Oh, so we want to pick another movie. So, like, let's say I pick, um, say, Short Circuit, and it has a 62. And we try and pick a movie that has a 38. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I almost said 48, and I would have been wrong. Yeah, uh, you have revealed yourself. Okay, you know what, all right, chat. Pick a, oh, chat says Godfather. That's going to have 100. You need to pick something that's going to have, like, a moderate score. Yeah, you'd have to pick, like, Godfather. First movie I see in then, chat, like, I'm gonna, we're going movie. with. First movie, Thunder Road. Okay, Slint, fuck. Oh, Thunder Road? Okay. We're doing Thunder Road. Okay, look it up. Thunder. This person's been talking about Thunder Road all fucking day. What is is that the the uh, Jim Cummings movie? It's probably Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings is in chat. Like Thunder Road, oh. talk about it. <laughs> talk about it. Oh, okay. All right. I have not seen this movie. Have you seen it? Uh, no, I have not. Uh. What's the score? Tomatoes. Uh, the score is nine, 97%. Oh, give me a... Br All right, well then, how about this? Miss March. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that should put us at about 102. All right, let's... let's I think it's a pretty good guess. I'm going to say uh, Dumb and dumber -er. The third Dumb and Dumber one. Well, let's go with Miss March. Just humor me. But, yeah, the... Well, we're playing against each other. Miss oh, okay. All right. So, oh, okay. We're playing against each other. All right. All right. So, uh, that was a 5%. Miss March was? Yeah. All right. So, I'm at 102. Uh, Dumb and Dumber 2 is, is... Oh, I'll go with what I said originally. Dumb and Dumber, which is the second one. Oh, you get to look at which one is better for you and pick the one that has the more... Oh, 10%. More. No. I win. God damn it. Okay. Somebody throw out another movie. Next movie I see wins. 5% is... Fuck. John Carter from Mars. John Carter from Mars. All right. John Carter from Mars. Cool. Babarski. From Mars. How long does this take? Did Rotten I Tomatoes. John Carter. Search it. Did I misspell it? Just search John Carter. I'm I'll trying. It. If I beat you, you shame. Oh, wait. Here it is. It's just called John Carter. That's why. 52% uh, on the tomato meter. All right. 52. So we need to find a 48. 48. Uh, woo, so it's uh, got to be a pretty bad movie. I'm going to go... Predator 2. Let's see what okay. I'm going to Come on, uh, Come I'm gonna on go, now, Bubba. Uh, Predators. Really biting me on that, aren't you? Ooh, 31. 
What'd you get? Uh, 65. So I think I went Ooh, so so it was 58. So 58 plus 31, that puts me at 90. Oh, or, okay. No, no, 89. What are you at? Wait, what 62? was 62? So 58 plus 62, you're at like 123. Am I right about this? I'm terrible. Wait, what was John Carter? Wasn't it 52? I, I win. 58, you said. Oh, it's 52? Wait. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Nah, I fucked it all up. Yeah, 52. Uh, and what did, what did you have, 38? Yeah. So you're at 90? Mm-hmm. And I'm at, like, 117. Uh, so you won again! again! Okay. All right, dude, where's my car? Dude... Where's my car? 2000. Uh, it's got a 17%. So we're looking for Ooh, an 83. Right. We're looking for an 83. What's 83. An 83? Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Sh- All right, you go first. I know what I'm going to go with already. I'm going to go Shrek 2. I'm no, gonna go no, with wait, good wait, wait. Shepherd. The Good Shepherd with uh, yeah, Matt s- Damon. Shrek 3, I'll do. Shrek 3, Good Shepherd. Okay. 56. Fuck. Uh, Shrek. Three, so it's seventeen. Shrek the third, forty-one. Uh, so I have a fifty. You win. Oh, you have fifty. Oh, I win. Fifty-eight total. Oh yeah, I'm up in. I'm like eighty. I think. What was the Good Shepherd? Fifty-eight. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah oh, man, should have gone with Shrek two. Eighty-nine. All right, I don't like this game anymore. All right. You won. You won every round. I know, but it's just like, yeah. All right. Um, uh, that's a game that my brother played on stream before, and uh, blame him. Okay. Um, has anyone ever brought up the movie Cremator? Cremator on uh, Trailer Boys. It's like a Hungarian yeah. horror movie from the eighties or the seventies. I don't think I've seen sure. it. No, no. Uh, oh, the, dude! The what a crazy trailer! You guys should definitely watch it on Trailer Boys. Someone should submit that. Yeah. Is there? I think tomorrow's uh, tomorrow. Is there revenge in it? Uh, in Cremator? Yeah. I don't know. I've never revenge seen revenge slash payback or something like that. We're doing revenge two tomorrow. Cool. Um, what else is new? What else is new? What's what's new know. with with your life, Zach? Lots of work stuff. I'm starting, so I'm starting, remember the Sasquatch doc series? So yeah. So we're doing a spinoff for Hulu. So I start on that on Monday. That'll be fun to go back in the office with that gang. Cool. Um, what else? I don't know. Lots of lots of writing. I'm almost done with my script. I got to finish Exciting. that this week. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I got to send it to you. I would love to see what yeah, you think. Yeah, totally. I just got an uh, iPad, so it's easier for me to read scripts when people send them to me. Which you have to read it on this program called Embershot. It's like a security thing. It's like I can't just like send you the script. Oh, crazy! Annoying. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally down. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I went yeah, to. Yeah, I saw Peter Dinklage. That was new. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah. I went to uh, um, Descanso Gardens yesterday. Oh, what is that? It's, nice. it's like, uh, kind of like, have you ever been to like the Huntington Library? Yeah. It's like that, but uh, that kind of thing where it's just like this beautiful garden where people can like have a membership to. But in the winter, they do a thing where they do like these like crazy lights and uh, the, it's, it's this whole experience. And they have like all these like curated like kind of uh ambient music and sounds playing as you walk through it and you walk through all these different zones and it's it's really visually like a a really cool thing where like there's like an area where it's all like filled with like red those like red land like globe lanterns and then there's like a um yeah just a a bunch of it's it's one of those things that's really cool to 
post on Instagram and that kind of thing. But okay, but you Wally play, really um, really likes lights. Oh, he likes it. So he we were like, hey, let's go there with him, and he was just like, it's such a weird thing where it's like, oh, like now he thinks this is a thing. He was like, I didn't know this could be oh. a thing. That's cool. That's fun. Yeah. Do you want to play AI Dungeon? Somebody was saying you play AI Dungeon, where it's like uh, it's like a choose your own adventure that AI hosts, and anything can happen, and we okay. can use chat to do input. All right, so we can pick a setting: fantasy, mystery, zombies, apocalyptic, cyberpunk, custom, or archive. Let's go: cyberpunk, apocalyptic, zombie, mystery, or fantasy. What do we think? I would say apocalyptic. You would say apocalyptic. I would. I like apocalyptic. I'm into that. Um, okay. What, what do we think, chat? What do we What do we like? I'm getting a. I see a fantasy, cyberpunk, zombie, mystery, cyberpunk. What else? Weigh people in, everybody. Saying, this is a lot of people are saying cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, cyberpunk. All right, let's go cyberpunk. Okay, fuck it. Select a character: cyborg, punk, cop, or android. I gotta go punk. Come yeah. on, guys, we gotta go. Yeah, punk. we gotta go punk. All right. Enter Select your character's a favorite name. band. Crash. Hey, should I screen share uh, here? The Clash. Yeah, yeah. Do screen share. You you disabled participant screen share. Oh, oh yeah. Let me let me hit that on. Uh, you missed my great bit about favorite band. I mean, oh, what'd you say? There, there you go. Select a favorite band. Crass. The Clash. Crash. Uh, you have to pick his favorite band. What? Enter your character's name. Um, right. What should our name be? Um, Borat. Bor yeah. <laughs> Borat. That's that's great. That's golden. Yeah. Uh, all right. Generating the story. You are right. Borat, a punk living in the futuristic city of Zale. You have a small Xor blaster hidden in you in you jacket. And a hollow band in your wrist. You wake up in a dark alley with bruises all over your body. You have no idea what happened. You stand up and see a few blood stains on the ground. Someone was just here, but no one else is around. At the far end of the alley, a garbage truck is parked. The driver's asleep in the driver's seat. Do wake up the kiss driver. driver. What? Kiss driver? Yeah, go with that. Yeah. Kiss driver. You kiss driver. Sick. Hell yeah, I do. Right on the lips. <laughs> what does he do? Is he into it? You stand up, stretch, and check to see if the garbage truck driver is still asleep. He is. You walk towards the garbage truck. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Kiss driver. <laughs> you kiss driver. You walk over to the garbage truck. The driver moans in his sleep and turns over, knocking over the garbage can that he was sitting in. He's sitting in a can. You crouch down and sneak up on him. I know. Yeah, kiss, kiss him already. Driver, God, what do you fucking think I'm trying to do right now? <laughs> you kiss driver. Kissing the driver hard. <laughs> you see him groaning and moving around. He's definitely alive. You go back to your spot and lie down. No. Why? No, I don't. I'm not done. <laughs> Get Kid up. Wait, go to truck. Go, go to driver. To truck. Go to driver. You go to driver. Property two of undefined. What? Hmm. Kiss driver. Let's just see if I can do it again. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I know. I, well, if I can get him aroused, then I can do other stuff. Your body covered in blood. You sneak into the garbage truck and enter the back seat. The truck is a nondescript box on wheels. Wait, what is okay. this? A garbage truck with a back seat? That's weird. Kiss driver. <laughs> Maybe you got to do like kiss driver on the neck, like kiss driver okay, softly yeah, yeah. on the neck. Kiss driver softly on the neck. <laughs> you sit down next to the driver. His breathing slows down. You exit the garbage truck and head towards your apartment. <laughs> God damn it. You try the doorknob, but it's locked. You look around the alley. Kiss driver. <laughs> <laughs> Was there any... You run around the back of the truck and jump into the air. You wrap your legs around the garbage can, but you fall in the garbage can, which gives under your weight, and you land heavily upon your left side. <laughs> All right, okay. All right. 
So maybe. How about wake up driver? I'll try wake up. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is. You groggily wake up the garbage truck driver and ask him for a light. He exits the truck, flicks his lighter, and holds it up to the cigarette lighter in your hand. Ha ha! Now, kiss (laughs) driver. (laughs) You see, people always. You take a long inhale. The garbage truck driver puts his cigarette out on your head? Okay. Attack driver. Say thank you and kiss driver. (laughs) Okay, say thank you. You get up and head for the door of the garbage truck. You wake up to a light in your eyes. I fell asleep. Someone is shining a flashlight in your eyes. You reach for your hollow band. Take off pants. (laughs) Yeah, that's good. (laughs) Please log in or create a free account. Oh, man. Come on. You know, whenever anyone like like the the big thing with AI is people keep on talking about how like AI is going to replace everyone's jobs. I worry uh, about that, dude. And uh, I think I think they're right. Based on that, yeah, AI is going to take all of our jobs as as creatives. I worry about it, man. You worry about it? Uh, I do. I do. If, I think if you're worried about it, I think it's it's a matter of like uh, I, I don't think AI creates AI just just parrots like you know like it it, know, do, it doesn't innovate AI not yet but like you know like the AI art like it just takes a database of pictures that are already created and enters the terms of, of, of what's, you know, and, and goes like, all right, show me like a thousand pictures of a field and there's a road going up the middle here. And so, you know, statistically, if we're drawing a field, this is the best place to put a road. But it's not like it's it's a reflecting of a reflection of everything that's been there already, not a reflection of things that are like to come, you know? I'm just saying, think, if our brains are really just circuitry, which they are, you know, we're, we're, we're building something that's going to be just as intricate as our brains and be able to think just as well and it's going to be able to do all that shit. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, though, like... We're not magic. We're just fucking little ones and zeros, too, you know? But do you think that we're capable of creating something as intricate as a human brain yet, you know? Not yet, but these things do tend to progress. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think when, when we start dealing with, like, biotechnology, I think that's... that's let's, when things get a little bit more... Um, like David Cronenberg I think that's when we're like getting yeah. close this is where I really miss Trevor because he would have something interesting to say about this he would have a lot of thoughts on the subject already wow you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> that was a hardcore diss sack Ouch. what do you mean <laughs> no to who who am I dissing no. Not, no not to you I just mean like come on no no <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This like, is Trevor when I miss have... Trevor. He'd say you something know what, smart. You know what, talking to you, this is bullshit. <laughs> no, no. bullshit. No, no, no. You know what I mean. No, Trevor, I know Trevor what would mean. be like really fucking, he would have a lot of thoughts that you and I had never considered about this shit. Uh, yeah. I also, this, I'd miss Trevor right now because at least I'd have someone pretty to look at. Oh. Not, not this garbage. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you... Do you ever think people people always want you to go back to the the newsboy type format? Do you think you would? Not really. I mean, I don't know. You and I, I would do it with you, but okay. But, but I feel like I'm not a newsboy. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yeah. What, what's what's to stop us, Sam? Why would? Yeah. We? Um. We call we it newsboys. Should... What? We just call it newsboys. Just boot it back up. Newsboys, the re the reboot. Newsboys, Trevor will fucking literally roll over in his grave. <laughs> what if we What if we got haunted? His trees just like shaking. 
Yeah. <laughs> Our stream like actually gets like legit haunted, and we're like, All yeah. right, I guess ghosts are real. Yeah. Wow. Trevor, <laughs> like, took all the effort to haunt us to shut Dude. down faces of news. Did I tell you this? So this is interesting. So I had a meeting with an exec, and um, I can't remember how it came up, but he, he basically was like, he's like, dude, there's a psychic in Pomona. And he's like, I went and I visited her. And he's like, and I, I'm telling you, I talked to my mom for like 45 minutes. I was like, come on, dude, come on. He's like, I'm telling you. He's like, you, he's like you, I talked to my mom. He's like, shit that there's no he's like this woman didn't know my name she didn't know anything about me she didn't know what i did for a living i had my assistant set everything up for me i go in there i sit down the first thing she says to me is uh you have an uncle who is a cop he did he's like he says he died in a really fucked up way he's like uh-huh and he's like he said uh thank you for taking his son to rehab which he did and he's like and then i talked to my mom for a half an hour 45 minutes i was like and he's like, you got to go. He gave me your number. And I was like, what, what do I want? Like, who do I want to talk to? I was like, and obviously I'm like, Trevor. But I'm like, but what, what do I want to like say to, what, what if that, first of all, Trevor was always like, I hope there's nothing. Yeah. So like, if he's in nothing, I'm going to go like pull him out of nothing. Be like, hey, what's up, <laughs> dude? Like, you know. Like, uh, I was good until now. It's like, I had everything I want. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean. I, I I still bet it's bullshit. Like just because we yeah, don't know how I don't believe in just because we oh. don't know how the magician is doing the trick doesn't mean magic is real. I know, I know. I can't believe I didn't say this. So so uh, over New Year's we stayed at this really woo woo resort in Arizona called Mirror Hall. It was like a gift. I would never have gone there otherwise. But there was a psychic who uh, on New Year's Eve did like a a, a speech. She's yeah. like this British lady in her nineties. I can't remember her name. But every year she she makes these predictions of what's going to come in the in you know so she was like was rattling off all these things that will happen in 2023, and there are a lot of people there that like really believe her, and uh, and so we went just for shits and giggles just to like hear her talk and she said here's what she said oh this was so fucking crazy she was like Trump is going to go to jail, he will be in jail this year impossible, Putin will be shot and killed. Wow. Biden will be president, but without Kamala. Uh, major breakthrough in the cure for Alzheimer's and diabetes. Um, a Something about nuclear fission. She was like, I'm getting a lot of nuclear fission. So something about nuclear fission. And, uh, and she said, uh, um, a leader of a South American country will be assassinated. Probably a woman, but she wasn't sure. So anyway, that's uh, yeah. I mean, isn't there already a nuclear? Yeah, the nuclear fission thing already happened. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a ninety-five-year-old woman who's like kind of casually surfs the internet and just like <laughs> says a bunch of shit. Fusion. That's and then I went and I I found her video from twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen, so her prediction about twenty sixteen. Yeah, it was on YouTube, so I found that, and it's. Diabetes and Alzheimer's will be cured. <laughs> uh, an assassination of an American leader um, didn't happen. Uh, and then she said uh, there will be a change of leadership. It will be a new era of like peace and understanding. It was like 2016. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel and like she, uh, yeah. There will be a new president. I don't know. Yeah. One way or another, it's either going to be a Republican or a Democrat. I... Yeah. <laughs> it was good. Uh, it was good. Let me see if I can fucking remember her name. Hold on. Uh, she was right. We were all wrong. Um, let me check the... Um, because I did give out the... Um, PayPal, so should be able to see if there has been any PayPal activity. Again, if you want to donate, feel free to donate to um, paypal.me.me slash whitestkids. 
who go there. There will be a little picture of Trevor. It'll be all good. Search uh, your history, Zach. I don't want to search my history. It seems like such a fucking pain in the ass. Because I, I looked at it like a week ago. I don't think I'm going to be too history. Let's see if I can find it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, crazy. We really the only see how much YouTube you watch when you go through your YouTube. Entry. The only oh, donation we got it. was from Nate's test donation. So Twitch, oh, I found it. Her, keep, her name is okay. Maggie Garbarini. Maggie Garbarini. Crazy. Ah, how was your New Year's? It was good. I was in Arizona. That's cool. What would you do? I, uh, me and Emily basically had a slumber party with her goddaughter. And her goddaughter had never seen any John Hughes movies before, so we watched Breakfast Club. I like Breakfast Club. We watched, uh, The Legend of Billie Jean. Never seen that. Um, uh, 80s movie. It's like... It's like a, a woman with like sh very short blonde hair. Yeah, I was looking at that the other day. I at that. Yeah, is it good? It's it's like fun. It's like can't like, you know, like a cheesy '80s movie. Helen Slater. Yeah, it's the girl who played uh, Supergirl, and Christian Slater, who is not related to her, uh, plays her brother in it, and the guy from. Uh, Christine and uh, Dressed to Kill is is in it, uh, and Peter Coyote's in it. Uh, I don't know any of these people. You don't know Peter Coyote? He no, was in E.T. E. He was like the oh. other adult in E.T. He seems great. Uh, All right, dude. I uh, cool. yeah. I think we should call it. Super yeah. fun. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was a fun one. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's good. Good hang sesh. Yeah. Good hang sesh. Um, All right. Cool. cool um, check out uh, Trailer Boys tomorrow. Revenge the Revenge. Uh, that's at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Western. All the times in Oop. between. Um, yeah, and we'll be back in two weeks. And yeah. It's fun. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks, chat. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Later, buddy. Right. Yeah. I'll, uh, you can hop off. I'll find someone to raid. Raid. Do, do, do.